welcome back to Music Sound Noise. On today's episode, we'll be doing a cover Friday. So basically, we're covering a song that um, that someone else has covered and made already popular. So for today's episode, we're going to be doing Passion Fruit by Drake, which is actually playing in the background right now. Passion Fruit was released underneath Drake's More Life album, and it was the second single off of his album. The single had plenty of accolades all over the world um, and the US was I, I think like one of the number one places that had most of his accolades. The song was produced by Nana Rogues, it's a British producer um, and it was also co-written by the person as well. There was additional vocals that were, there was additional vocals that I guess that were lended by Zoe Kravitz, that's the word I'm looking for, lended. Um, I don't know if you can pinpoint it out, but feel free to listen to the song again when and, and really like get the full scope of it. Um, the song was written by Drake, Nana Rose, and N. Shabib, which I'm not too sure who the last person is. Um, but the song was released March 18, 2017. The song hit the top 100 charts in the U.S. at number 18. It hit the hip hop charts at number 5 in the U.S. Ireland's charts was number 4. Uh, Hungary top 40 number 15 Colombia number 74 and of course Canada at number two the song went triple platinum in the US um, platinum in the UK and Italy the song's genre is tropical house house music pop and R&B which I've never heard of tropical house before but I do like the song so it's worth giving it a try and seeing what this tropical house is all about um, the song was released, of course, under Cash Money Records, um, and there was five, uh, no, four, sorry, four people have covered this song thus far, or bands, rather. Um, one of the bands is Paramore, um, if you're not familiar with them, it's a pretty cool rock band. Um, they also covered another song that I'm going to feature, or that we're going to feature next Friday. Um, and uh, an artist by the name of Mabel, Benny Sings, and Yaji. So the cover that we're going to be exploring today is Yaji's song. So let me just go ahead and put that on. Um, so I really like Yaji's cover of Passion Fruit. It's actually, Passion Fruit is a, is a nice song. Um, I liked it when I first heard More Life, but upon hearing Yaji's version, um, I really fell in love with it. And I actually discovered this version when I was in Puerto Rico. Um, someone was playing this song and I was like, this is Passion Fruit, but it's, it's not Drake. And I was like, this is, this is really dope. So, um, the person was just playing like a playlist. They didn't know who it was either. So I shazammed it and found out who Yaji was. And Yaji is actually born in, um, in New York. She's, um, a Korean American individual. Um, she re-released this song November 3rd, 2017, so just in the same year, but just, you know, a couple months later down the road, um, off of her EP called EP2. Um, Yaji is a singer and a DJ that basically mixes hip-hop and house music together, and at times she sings on them with, like, subtle, mellow beats. Um, and if you, if Passion Fruit is a song that resonates with you, I really think you should hear her version of it. I think it's, I don't know, it, it was just more in sync, more in tune with my feelings. Um, not to say anything's wrong with Drake's version. Uh, I just felt, I just liked the way she came about it a bit more. Um, let's see, what else do we have on her? Um, her EP2 is her second EP that she's released. Um, on Spotify, the song has more than 6 million hits. Um, no major uh, accol accolades? Yeah, no major accolades um, from the song. Maybe because it's a, a cover, I'm not too sure why. But it's definitely a song worth listening to. Um, so I think that's it for our cover. Friday. If you all have any questions, feel free to let me know. But yeah, Passion Fruit, uh, Drake's version. Please, like, if you listen to it, please listen to Drake's version and then listen to Yaji's version. And you know, just tell me which one you think sounds better. Some people are gonna like the Drake's version because it's original, which you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I think her version 
is definitely dope. And also she, she um, being Korean American, she also sings, re -sings songs and or sings her original songs in English and in Korean. Um, she did this whole song in English though. So it's definitely worth listening to. And that's all the notes I have on it. So yeah, that's it for today's Cover Friday. I hope you all enjoy and until next time, See you later.